at this point in uh, in the just a few seconds ago or minutes ago, you saw that I was showing something with my fingers in the lower receiver, and that was the addition of shims to shim out the play, the lateral left and right play, and then of course I replaced the nylon uh, tension set screw with one of my personal brass tip upper tension set screws, which perform way better and last way way longer. So. I'm going to move on now to doing the function check. Um, so here we have the completed rifle as you saw from the uh, fast forward build. Um, everything's pretty much ready to go. Magazine stable. I mean everything's looking good. This is a heavy gun too. So now we're going to go ahead and do a functions check and this is just to check the function of the fire control group. I've honestly already done this probably about 15 times already just testing the function of the trigger and everything because this is not my, uh, well, the trigger that's in here is stock trigger. Uh, it's not my preference. Um, I'll end up swapping it out with probably a drop-in unit that has much better pull than what's on here. So uh, with the, uh, obviously we can't put the rifle on safe, so we're going to go ahead and lock this bat, test the uh, function of bolt hold open, which is uh, obviously working. Let's go ahead and drop our magazine out. And now I'm going to release the bolt forward. Boy, that's a, that's a terrible sound you'd hear in the middle of the night. And then we're going to go ahead and squeeze the trigger. All right. And we're going to keep the trigger held back. We're going to charge it again. We're going to let go, and we should hear a click. That's what I want to hear. Now we'll test the function of the safety. All right. Fires. So this sucker is, uh, well, this sucker's ready to go. Why don't we go get a test fire? 